Welcome back to The Witcher 3. All my equipment is repaired, I've got tons of storage space, and a new weapon. So it is time to go adventuring again. It's almost time to leave White Orchard with Vesemir, and kind of leave this tutorial area. But before doing that, there are a couple more question marks. There's one down here by the sawmill, and then... One over here, and then kind of a cluster right here. Now this question mark, I think this question mark I got, but then I lost it because I died and I didn't save or something like that, so I might not go to that one. But the rest I want to check out before I leave. So, let's go check them out. I also want to remind everybody, I keep forgetting to remind everybody, that there's a high quality, a uh, very, very high quality version of each episode of this series. And there'll be a link to it in the description of each video. I said that, I said that at the beginning of the series, but I just want to remind everybody, in case anyone's forgotten. It really is much, much better quality. YouTube just ruins this game. I'm going the wrong way. Move it. Now, I know this game has a fast travel system, and I think I can fast travel right here, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I should probably just actually set a waypoint, shouldn't I? That would be intelligent. Enemies, of course. Ah, these weaklings. Come here. Calm down, Roach. Calm down. It's fine. <laughs> what is this one doing? Gnawing on the fence? Whoa, wait a minute. The fence is actually destructible? Oh, hey. What? Huh? Area liberated as populace has returned. Oh, that's cool. I had no idea you could do that. Whoa! Wait, wait. What? What's happening? What? What the fuck is everybody screaming about? Now I'm scared. Daddy says you killed the beast that was eating folk. Yeah. So what's everybody scared about? Jesus! Give me a fucking heart attack. Oh. I'm a little bit weirded out by the fact that the time of day changed. Beg evil spares us at least. I don't I don't know why it suddenly changed time of day, but still that's really cool. I didn't know you could liberate areas. Hey girl. No, look at me. Want to see some magic? Where'd you come from? Ah, even opens up a merchant. Greetings. Greetings, I just exploded. My Quinn disappeared. How are you today? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. I don't, <laughs> I don't actually intend to buy anything, so I'm not really sure why I'm doing this. Ooh, water. Ooh, pure silver. Goodbye. Farewell. Yeah, so what is this opened up? I'm looking at the icons on the map. So there's a merchant. 
And... Weaponsmith? Or, oh, Grindy Wheel. Grindy Wheel. I like Grindy Wheels. I guess this is inhabited now, so it'd be stealing to take anything, right? Would it? I guess. Maybe I should have looted the place before killing the enemies, because then I don't think it technically would have been stealing. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Nobody cares about this beehive right here. Maybe that's what they were screaming about. The bees, not the bees. Ah, ah. How to get burned, how to get burned, how to get burned. I love you, Nicolas Cage. Next. Ooh, Necker. Level six, too. Haven't fought one of you yet. Come here. Yeah. I remember these things from The Witcher, too. Some more over here. More Neckers, I'm assuming? What now, you piece of filth? Oh, you know what? Uh, hold on. Actually, let's... Now that they're in the bestiary, let's check the bestiary and see what they're vulnerable to. What are they? A hybrid? They're... In an Augroid. Whatever the heck that is. A lone necker is harmless, indeed. Five are dangerous, ten can kill even a veteran monster slayer. Yeah, so they're more dangerous, much more dangerous, in groups, of course. Northern Wind, I don't have that. Augroid Oil, I definitely don't have that. I don't even think I have a recipe for that. Let's check. I don't have that many oils. Nah, I don't even have the oil for it. Alright. I almost don't want to get on my horse, because there's just stuff to loot everywhere. Ooh, a plant. Ooh, a plant. <laughs> Geralt's like the master drive-by looter. He loots- he picks berries while running. What a badass. Holy shit! about that wolf. Deserters? Practice my parry timing. There we go.
A couple more dudes to loot out there. I don't know if it's worth looting, like, level 1 deserters. They always have, like, rusty swords on them and stuff. Yeah, rusty sword. Yeah, forget it. I don't think it's worth it. That stuff just weighs me down and I end up having to dump it. Ooh, Dorian sword. Catechin decoction. There's almost no point in even looking at the individual things. There's just so many things. Just loot it and then see if you need it later when you go to craft, I guess. And we're good. Next. Faster. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. It's grayed out, though. Haven't I already been here? Yeah, oh, so I've already been here. You can still use it, but it just doesn't give you the ability point. What the heck that was, but it looked like a bear or something. Something big. Yep, that's a bear. Holy <laughs> shit. Here we go. The thing looks fucking terrifying! I'm gonna try to stay on its back. Whoa. Wasn't bad. <gasps> yes, that just gave me a new ability slot. Take a look at what we can do now. Yeah, so I've got the additional ability slot, and I believe I already have a thing to put in it, right? This? Yeah, oil preparation. So let's put that in there, that gives me that bonus, and I probably want to put more points into this. <laughs> got four points available. Let's do it, let's upgrade this once. That didn't upgrade it. Oh, eat upgrade. There we go. Quinn's already maxed. Um, do I want to max out oil preparation? I feel like I should go for some combat abilities. But I don't actually have a slot for it. The next slot for that is on level 6. Uh, let's go one more on this. Oh, 
I might just save the rest of my points for another slot. Maybe. Eh. YOLO. There. Maxed out oil preparation. 50% <laughs> chance of poisoning a target on each hit. Potion duration, plus 25%. I'm gonna be... Master Oiler. My name is Geralt E. And that is my number. Euler's number. Classified this place too. <laughs> I could loot the things left behind as offerings to this religious statue. Yeah. Let's not do that, although it is just a rusty bread knife, and to be honest, I think that's kind of an insult to whatever god they're worshipping, but still. It's a little bit rude. I just knocked over that thing. I'm sorry! I'm gonna leave now. You're an herbalist, I don't need to talk to you. Goodbye. I can loot those things, but I don't really care. Alright, just one more that I care about. This one I think I already did before. I could do it again, but nah, whatever. I want new stuff, not old stuff. <laughs> Calm down, Roach. I'm not jumping into the water. Ooh. Oh, that is that is a lot of crafting stuff. Five steel plates, dark iron ore. Hello. Weapon repair kit? Yeah, this is just like a, a packet for crafting and repairing. Whoa! I had never used Ard on water before. Look at the ripple as it goes across the, the surface of the water. Okay, I don't know why I turned. Come on, don't turn. Stop turning! That is cool. What about fire? Does that look special at all? Ah, oh, whoa. It kind of burned the rock, which is a little bit weird, because it's mostly in the water, but I'm sure if we do that up here, it makes more sense. That is so cool looking. Alright, it's time to go. Let's leave White Orchard. Get. Meow. Nya. Nya. 
That is a very dangerous game you're playing there, Bandit. But you are a Bandit, because your name is Bandit, so maybe it actually wouldn't be too bad if you cut off one of your fingers. Because then you'd be less likely to hold a weapon, and less likely to kill people. Faster, 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 faster. <gasps> Holy shit, he's good. Actually, before we leave, let's play some Gwent. Who's, where's that prick that wants to play Gwent? Is he still around here? I don't see any icons on the map. Maybe he left. You know, that scholarly dude. I'll rip off your melon and shit down your neck! Well then, that's rude. Okay, I'm leaving. Let's go. I don't like the, lo the local populace here. Vesemir. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Oh, that's right, there's a fight. Remember when I started a couple episodes ago and I did this and I skipped through the cutscene and then loaded my game? I remember we had to fight people. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Maybe we Don't should scratch them. Enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? Cannot show Tamerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister to tend into the birth, and you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Jesus Christ! Let me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. We have to fight inside? There's not a lot of room here. All right, come on. Come on. You'll never learn. <laughs> Watch your back. Don't look at me. What, what, is, what is he doing? Vesemir. He's like staring at me the whole time, just getting hit in the back. Save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. Uh oh. That 
Brawl. We didn't start it. <laughs> excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. God, the character models look so freaking good in this game. And the costumes, too. Her costume's amazing looking. Or outfit. I guess maybe costume is maybe disrespectful? I don't know. Whatever she's wearing, it's amazing. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys, or to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group, for as I remember last time we saw each other he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro, will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaer Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <laughs> right now!
Well, that was unexpected. Um, also, why is why are the voices so quiet during the cutscenes? I don't get it. They're so quiet. This bard's tale begins near White Orchard. If my dear friend Geralt of Riven... Uh, I think this is just a loading screen thing. I'm just gonna skip that. The sorceress Yennefer. Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> seriously? <gasps> Whoa, is that full frontal nudity? From Geralt? Uh, that was too hard to see. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that... chair. <laughs> Tatwin, we uh, shaved the I don't know why this, this is all this... I don't know why this is so funny. <laughs> it's like rippled, wet Geralt. <laughs> And of course, it's the Witcher, so it's got to start with him being fawned over by, I think it was, what, three beautiful women rubbing his naked body with sponges. So that, that's not suggestive at all. Just a normal cleaning. Shave the gentleman, sideburns to half an inch. Excuse me, I am the master of my facial domain. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does, yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine, do your thing. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arya. Um, I don't remember. I don't rem- this is from The Witcher 2, right? I think? I don't remember. Uh, I spared his life? We fought on opposing sides, true. Then we landed in the same dungeon. Arian escaped, set fire to the castle on his way out. Ah. So that is how the blade started. Our reports suggested the dragon was responsible. Moving on. You then found shelter in charming Flotsa, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? Okay, yeah, this I remember. This was the big turning point. This is what decided kind of which mid game you got. Because if you went with. If you went with, um. Roach, you got a completely different mid game from Yorvith. Like. Com like, r really completely different. They basically made two separate sections of, like, the midpoint of the game. Which was a massive amount of work, and I remember they've talked about how. Uh, how they did that, and how it was a big risk to make such a huge part of the game that a lot of people wouldn't even ever see. 
Um, and the truth is, I did both, because I played through The Witcher 2 multiple times. And I tried out both, so which one do I want to go with? Vernon Roach or Yorvith? Yorvith is just more of the rebellion route, because he was with the, uh... The whatever the elf rebellion people are, I don't remember their name exactly. Um... Let's say I went with Roach. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes, and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question. Before my beard grows back in. <laughs> we shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. All the things that I did in The Witcher 2 are just blending together in my mind, and I don't even remember what the hell I did. I probably tried most stuff. Um, I'm gonna assume that I just tried to save Triss, because that sounds like what I would probably do. The Mighty had imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. What the hell is a megascope? I remember Sheila, I don't remember a megascope. Uh... I don't know. <sighs> An old acquaintance, more like. Not so close that I felt bad for her, but close enough that I knew she deserved it. He believes he alone knows what is good and what is evil, and that this gives him the right to dispense justice. Your comrade Letho of Gullet described you so. Quite accurate, I'd say. My comrade. Your agent. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Well, that alliance has been dissolved, irrevocably. I killed Letho in Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agent some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here and here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Gary. Good luck with your audience. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Mm. Do you have any, uh, that are pink with floofy bits? These are too dour. Too depressing. <laughs> Where are my clothes? They probably burned them. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. <sighs> I 
they all look so similar. I mean, they're super fancy, and I'm sure they're really expensive and hard to make. But they look very, very similar. This one's kind of cool. It's got a neat design over the whole chest part. Hold on, can I loot anything in the room? Just for fun. No. If I run really fast, does my towel fall off? A shame I have no time. Come on. <gasps> ah. Oh, you mean you expect me to dress myself? That's presumptuous. I can even see him in his towels in the inventory screen. I like it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, the bath towel trousers are an item. Does, doesn't that mean I can take them off? <laughs> I have to try. Oh, come on. I want a refund. I want my money back. Screw this game. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I think. Can I just go see the Emperor? Just with a towel around my neck? My rippled abs showing and. just my tight pants? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Look like I'm ready to perform a concert or something. Directly out of Nordling tales. Can you imagine Geralt in a metal band? I can. Geralt would be a great father. And a great metal singer? Guitarist? What would he be? Who knows? I should probably put on the other parts of my stuff. Okay. I have to admit, he looks really fucking handsome. I guess, I guess this, like, two million Orin... Get up is okay. Fine. Let's go. Black suits the gentleman. <laughs> of course it does. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Eh. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. Really? Is that not deep enough? That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on okay. a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Oh, you mean you expected me to actually listen? fluidity and grace but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings come with me good enough I guess the gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to and using the appropriate title your arch magnificency <laughs> I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition your majesty will suffice Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. If you don't mind me, I think it's a little dark in here, so I'm just gonna bring a torch. Okay, I should probably put that away. <laughs> he doesn't mind that I have a torch? That's kind of weird. Um, anyway, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, because this is gonna be a big meeting with an emperor, and it's probably gonna be a, a lot of cutscenes. So, I think I'll end it here after I've just gotten dressed. And I'll meet the emperor in the next episode. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.